Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I trust you are all well and enjoying your fishing. Uh, with regard to the competition, I have to say to some of you that you need to revisit the question. When you've done that, uh, if you need to change your entry, do so, but still put it in on that video that was recorded for that particular purpose. Now today's tying is a very simple tying, but it is very useful throughout the year. I'll give you the uh, information of the materials as we go along, but I'm going to put in a size 16 dry fly hook into the vise. And I'm going to be using uh, a 60 black thread for the tying. So tie it in uh, a mil or so behind the eye, maybe a third of the way down, and back halfway. Right now, we're going to be using some foam. Uh, this is black foam. You can find it in any fishing tackle shop or some sort of craft shop, uh, whichever. And I would say it's about two mil thick, and you need to cut off a strip uh, about mm, five mil across and that's probably about three sixteenths of an inch and then just trim up one end to a point uh, to make it easier to tie in. Now before I tie it in I'm going to put some glue on the top of the hook just to hold it in place like so, and tie this in from the side, like so, and then bring it over the top of the hook as you wind down. Now, as you go down, these are loose wraps to begin with, and then you can tighten up as you go along, and that's why I'm using a 6-0. Uh, it's just so that it doesn't cut into the sponge for this particular tying. Right, now for the body, I'm going to use some Spectra dubbing, number 420. And I'll take some of that out. Now, as you know, that's quite long fibers, so I'm going to break it up for dubbing onto the thread. Try and get a fairly even noodle, as they might say. That should be sufficient. And wind it on from the back, um, tightening up as you go along with the dubbing. Until you get to the front again. Pull back the fibres and just tidy up like that. Okay, now we want to pull the foam over the back of the fly and tie it down. Try and keep the foam on top, give it a wrap underneath and create a bit of a thread for tying off. Right now I'm going to use a half hitch tool to tie off. Like so, and just trim it up. Now I will put a little bit of glue onto the knot as well, onto the thread, just to keep it in place. Don't need a lot. Now for shaping the head, all you need to do is just cut it straight across and then trim it up from the centre going backwards and from this side, obviously from the backwards going forwards. And then hopefully you should end up with something like that, which looks a little beetle-like. 
bit. Now I'm going to just brush out some of this underneath the legs and then trim up some of the longer fibers. Like so. And that is basically the fly finished. Now the important thing about fishing this, of course, is that it needs to be fished when the wind is rustling the leaves and shaking bugs off of them onto the river. This is the time to use this beetle pattern. When you cast this particular fly, you need to shorten your leader and make sure that when you cast it, it plops onto the surface. It is this sound, this noise that attracts the trout to come up and inspect to see what has landed onto the surface of the river. Now, the stuff that's falling off of the tree is gonna have dropped for some distance and hence it will not land quietly. And that attraction uh, will soon have the trout rising to see what's there. It's a very effective fly. So when the leaves are rustling, cast underneath there to the rising fish. I hope you enjoyed that and please uh, give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber please consider doing so, hitting that bell and pass a comment if you wish and I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.